bendición y que nosotros entregaríamos las armas es muertos. Así de sencillo. Es que el problema de la guerra no es de la tenencia de armas, sino de su uso. Nosotros estamos dispuestos a ceder el uso. O sea, dejar de usarlas durante un tiempo o para siempre, pues, pero nunca entregarlas. ¿no? Han sido muy claros. Marcos believes it's the Indian people who are being left behind. That's why the Zapatistas continue to train for war against the Mexican government. Hey! Look at these sidewalks, how narrow. Super duper narrow. And we are on the search of the house of Comandante Marcos. Comandante Marcos was the rebel leader who had the Zapatista rebels who were fighting against the Mexican government back in, I'll put the date down here, I don't remember. And his house where he lived was right down this street. And we're gonna go look for it right now. It should be right down here. These sidewalks are barely wide enough to walk on. Look at this house, made out of mud. But these sidewalks are crazy. And the rocks, because these rocks are very, very old, they are slippery. Quite slippery. But the street is really narrow, so you don't want to walk on the street. And because um, a few cars came by, and they're going pretty fast. So let's keep looking for Comandante Marcos's house. They say it's down this road here. We have found the house. This here is the house. This here is the house of Comandante Marcos, the rebel leaders of the Zapatista army. They sit here. If you look up here, he has his red star. Right there, the red star. And here it says about it, the guys who were all here and they were fighting the government. And now it's an art gallery. Cool. So that is a historical monument in this city. This is where the guy lived himself, behind these walls. I see up there, there's a bigger house. So I guess what you see here is just the fence. And he probably lived up there. Ah, that makes more sense. Yeah, he had a nice house up there and it's all hidden behind the bushes. And they got the communist star there, the red star. 22A. Incredible. This is history, guys. This is history. He gave a lot of trouble to the Mexican government for many, many years because he was fighting for the indigenous people of the country. And then suddenly, he pretty much disappeared. And rumors is that he got a payoff from the government to give it up, and now he's retired in Mexico City. Whether it's the truth or not, we don't know and i think the only one who really knows would be the government and himself but anyway this is amazing this is history to touch these walls where a rebel leader once lived i walk through these doors to get into his house guys Thank you very much for watching. Welcome to Mexico. Welcome to San Cristobal de las Casas. Uh, welcome to the house of Comandante Marcos of the Zapatista Revolution. I am inside the house. Guys, by the way, 
And this is where they... Oh, una estación de radio tenía. And he had, they had the rebels, had the radio station in here so they could communicate. I don't know if you could see it, but it's just a storage, or it's a bodega. Yes. Yeah. It's a bodega. It's just a storage room now, but that's where they had the rebel radio station. And now this is a women's cooperative they use this for. And they do artwork, art different kind of things. They weave beautiful cloths. See, this is some of the stuff that they weave, you can see. Very nice, very nice designs. And this historical house is used for that now. Yeah. Yeah, uh huh. These are shawls to put on. And they make nice blouses and all that. Gracias. Estoy feliz que entré en esta casa. Ah, sí. Ok. Estamos para visitarlos. Gracias. There you have it, guys. We are here. This furniture that you see here is actually still original furniture from the Zapatista Revolutionary Army. That's one of the furnitures where they used to actually sit on. Amazing. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.